it's Kristen and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, you guys, I am actually really excited to do this review. So this is on a brand new fan made stuff pack. So this is not to be confused with something that has been put out by the Sims team. So this is created by an amazing fan of the Sims and apparently um, Harry Potter as well. So we're gonna be taking a look at every aspect of this in game as well as all of the items and you guys get excited because <laughs> I really love this. I have already checked everything out, but as you can see, I feel like they did such an amazing job on every single aspect of this pack from the like fake renders to even like the display on their website. So I will be making sure to leave a link exactly where you guys will be able to get this. I was able to download it, put it into my mods folder extract the file and I was good to go. So the only thing that you are going to need to have is Sims 4 base game. So this is going to be completely free to add into your game. So this is the stuff pack fan made of the puffer head stuff. And um, there we go. So this is by Mlisses. I don't know, Endless, I know I'm not saying that correctly, but like I said, I will leave a link in the description and Illogical Simmer did all of the renders, which I freaking love looking at Illogical's Twitter. Um, super freaking really good stuff over there. Do you know Henry Puffer, the most popular Simlish literary wizard? Your Sims surely do, but so far they could only express their love for the yellow haired wizard. With a poster, well, not anymore. Spoil your puffer head sims and infuse some magic in their room with this pack that includes a collection of readable books, movie posters, decorations, furniture, clothes, and more enchanting goodies to display. So um, we're gonna maybe go through some of these other things eventually, but this says, what is puffer head about? So it is based on this game poster that is in game. So Henry Puffer is the English name of the wizard featured on this base game poster. I thought our Sims deserved the joy of having their own Harry Potter like fandom. So I use this artwork as the starting point to develop a whole pack and imagine plenty of details about the Sim version of the saga universe. From buy mode to create a sim, this free pack includes both puffer, merchandise, and more versatile items revolved around a cozy and magic vibe. It has been designed to fit with different generations of puffer heads from kids to young adults. So there is a test that you guys can take on the site to tell you which of the four houses you are. So, Henrox is the magic school for the young wizards in the Henry Puffer series and is divided into four houses, which I am not even going to attempt to pronounce. So to find out which house your Sims or you may be sorted into, have fun taking the Hornix sorting test. So that is below. So in order to download this, you are just gonna click here and it will bring you to where you need to download it so you can kind of see how they ended up styling all of this stuff. Like how freaking cool is this? So we are actually gonna be checking out the trailer that they posted on YouTube. And you guys, um, prepare to be amazed at how almost official that this looks. All right, so in order to download this, like they say, everything is free and only requires the Sims 4 base game. 
So in order to get it, we are going to be clicking the download index. So this is where you're just going to click and it will bring you up to the file to download. So this kind of gives a little bit of an individualized list of everything from create a sim, decoration, furniture, activities, and wallpapers. But we are going to be actually jumping into game and seeing exactly how these look and how the activities work. All right, so first we are going to be jumping into create a sim. So in order to find this stuff, you are just going to filter it same as usual with any of your custom content. But the fun thing about this one is it actually has the little puffer head icon. So it does still look like a stuff pack, even though it is still in your game. So with this, we are getting 19 new create a sim items. So mostly for female and adults. And the female are getting two swatches of hair. So the first one that you've seen was just a little bit more of like a solid um, like color scheme. And then the second one is more of an ombre. So also we are getting this really cute plum bob looking earring and a new necklace. So the necklace is actually really, really adorable. It does have like the plum bob in the middle that the colors do change with like the chain of the necklace as well. So next we do get a new scarf. So these are definitely like a unisex kind of a um, accessory and you can get them that have like the stripes on them so they kind of look more like a house scarf or they also do come in the solid colors as well. So this is probably gonna be something I use in my game even if it's not really focused around like the wizard kind of stuff. So of course you cannot have a puffer head stuff pack without having a wizard um, hat. <laughs> so this one does have the witchy as well as like the wizard textures on them. So you will see that comes for three different sizes as well. And then they do get a bunch of new shirts for female. So first is this adorable sweater. It goes like three quarter up the arm. Super cute. This is definitely an item I would actually see myself wearing. Um, so this does come with solid colors as well as the house logos on the front of it. And then we also have this little blazer or I guess more like a blouse again in the solid colors, but they also kind of have the theme of the constellations as well as like the stars and just a really magical kind of look to them. So that is really nice. Definitely keeping that in my game for the solids. And then of course we have the t-shirt. So this has a lot of the host logos and definitely things that look more towards like school and a little bit like Harry Potter inspired. And then, yeah, I really like that one. So you can see that it actually tucks in really nicely to the pants. So we also do get a new skirt for female. This definitely looks like something I would see in a puffer fish school. Probably not a skirt I would use in like everyday clothing for my Sims, but it definitely fits with the style of the pack and of course, we do have a matching dress. So they actually did include a bunch of just like really cute patterns with like florals and stuff as well. And um, those same, kind of reminds me of Mickey Mouse though. <laughs> the blue with the stars, but it still really fits with the style as well. So females do get two new pair of shoes. So these ones, I don't know exactly how you would describe these shoes, but they're just really casual and um, lots of like just the muted tones and then more of like a platform. So it's like the same shoe as you just seen, but a thicker sole on that one. So children do get a couple items with this. So we do have the matching wizard hat for the kids, which is cute. And when we spin around, you can see how tall it is and it does clip with the hair really nicely um, or set on the hair, I guess. They also are gonna be getting two new tops. So these are unisex, you can use them for your little boys or girls. And that one was so cute, it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter, definitely. <laughs> definitely getting a feel of that. So instead of giving them the scarf accessory as something individual, this is just a recolor of one of the shirts that we do already have in game, I do believe. So it has like the same matching scarves as the adult. So moving over into the male, I love that their top is more of like a longer sleeve. I was kind of nervous they were gonna have like the same shorter 
shirt, but I love the long sleeve. It's like the baseball top. So moving over into the build and buy menu, these are the two new wallpapers we get. So it's a full wallpaper and then one that has the wood on the bottom. So you will see two or a few different variations, some that just have the constellations, some with the stars, some with the clouds. Now these are individual pictures these two little ones all the way to the left so you can either just like add them onto your bulletin board on your wall or you will see here in a second the other item that this works perfectly with so lots of wall decor you guys this is going to be perfect if you do want to do um some kind of a build if you want your bedroom just to be really magical Harry Potter in in inspired, <laughs> but it also does have like a bunch of other swatches so it doesn't only have to kind of be like revolved around Harry Potter. So I like the bunch of pictures that's like in the middle, but I love the banner that's like at the bottom. It really fits in with the banners that we do already have in game. So I feel like this could also be used maybe like in a movie theater as well if you want to have like an upcoming Harry Potter movie. I feel like that definitely looks like some kind of like a movie trailer um, picture you would see on a theater. So these are the really cute banners. I love all of the host logos on them. And then of course we have a new mirror, which does look like a plum bob. And it also matches with those earrings really well. So, oh my gosh, you guys, if I use Build CC, this would probably be my favorite item. This definitely reminds me of the Grayson collection. It is an Alpha CC collection, but it is one that I used to be obsessed with, and this looks so Maxis match, and I am in love with it. So right here, I did want to put this in so you guys can see how those pictures clip within them hanging lights onto like the little clothespin kind of thing. So they do fit in there perfectly. You guys, this is making me crave custom content, <laughs> but I am not going to be adding build CC for like my general builds, but this is definitely giving me a little bit of an itch to scratch with the build CC, but this bed, you guys, is definitely one thing that I absolutely miss with custom content is the option to change your bed headboard, like the wood on it and then mix and match your blanket. So I did end up showing you exactly how to use these. So it has a single bed as well as a double. So all you need to do is choose your wood headboard that you want, and then you're just gonna drag and pull the blankets on top. So you can pick and choose, and then you are able to actually choose the pattern of your blankets as well as the different tone of your furniture. Like, Sims definitely needs to do something like that. I would be so impressed and ecstatic if they were able to do something like that, but I know they won't. <laughs> it's just kind of a dream. Anyway, so moving over into the furniture, we do have two new chairs, a really comfy one, one for either like an office or a kitchen, side table, and two new desks. So one of the desks does have the bulletin board, which I love, so you can add like a little bit of clutter, maybe some of those pictures on there as well. So this is a standing mirror. We have a bookshelf, side table, and a functioning experimenting table. So you guys will see that one towards the end of the video where I show you guys all of the new activities that is in game, except for the books. <laughs> those are just books that you can actually add into your game and read. So I love these. I love that bookshelf. I wish it was in like the actual Sims game. So this is another one of the custom activities that has like the Harry Potter castle on it. So you will see that in action as well. And the trunk over there. So tons and stuff, tons and tons. I can't even talk you guys because this pack has made me really excited, but lots of clutter. So there's like the owl, there is a snow globe where inside the snow globe, what is inside actually like changes with this swatch. So also two of the figurines, which is like the witch and the wizard, or no, they're both wizards, and some toys. There's even a bird cage, and this little like set with the books with the plants. I am dying for that one. <laughs> I would absolutely love to see that. Now the mug that you see that has like the stick of cinnamon in it, that is actually a functional item that you can drink from as well. So you will see that towards the end. Now, one of the things that I think is completely adorable is the books and how there are like the different swatches 
that if you only want like half a bookshelf or half a pile of books or a full one, I absolutely love that. So this right here might be confusing you guys what it is, but it is a folded scarf. So if you have your sim maybe have an outfit that doesn't have a scarf on, I think that would look really cute just like sitting on top of a dresser and of course the wand. Lots of different variations and the pillows. Oh my god, Sims. <laughs> Can we freaking get some of those individual pillows in the game? Now these two items are hanging, so there is like the light and the cage with the ivy on it as well. And a toddler bed. This toddler bed is so adorable. It has that day bed look to it. And then again, those same little swatches. And then all you're going to need to do is just drag it over. So these are the six activities. One of them is reading, which I didn't include just because it was like books that is in game that you guys did see. Now this is one of the new activity tables. So this is where you're just going to be able to battle is called the Harnix battle. So it is a card game and it is recreational. And there's also the Henry Puffer chemistry set. And then of course we have the Henry Puffer Pal plushies. So, and a functional drink there as well. So, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this overview. I really wanted to show you guys an individual itemized list and actual in-game of how everything works. So, if you guys do enjoy these reviews, let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know if this is something you guys are going to be adding into your own game as well. Make sure to give today's video a very big thumbs up. And hopefully, I'm going to see you all next time. Bye, guys.